Yeah, we didn't impeach uh, Donald Trump simply for a phone call, though the phone call was a part of his corrupt abuse of power. That also included the fact that uh, without any justification, he withheld $391 million in security aid from an ally who was under attack by an adversary, Russia, as part of an effort uh, to try to get them, meaning Ukraine, to target without justification Joe Biden. And there were a series of steps that were taken by Donald Trump and his team that resulted in him being impeached for his corrupt abuse of power. With respect to what has currently taken place, I have not viewed the transcript. We're not looking backward. We're looking forward to the inauguration of Joe Biden on January 20th. Our focus as House Democrats will remain on addressing the public health crisis and the economic crisis that has resulted in more than 350,000 Americans dying and over 20 million Americans infected by the coronavirus. So that was Hakeem Jeffries saying that House Democrats are not going to impeach Donald Trump for the phone call with the Georgia Secretary of State, in which he tried to blackmail him into stealing the election for Donald Trump himself, um, and that we're moving on. Hakeem Jeffries even said, I don't even know what, what's in the transcript, you know, because I don't think Hakeem Jeffries cares. They already impeached him for trying to get an ally of ours who was under attack by Russians to launch investigations into Joe Biden to hurt him politically. And they tried to do that by withholding aid, key military aid, while Ukraine was under attack by Russia. And House or Senate Republicans didn't remove him. So what is the point in impeaching him again if the Senate is just going to sit on their hands? And we got two weeks left. And then the clown show is over. And another important thing to remember is after Donald Trump leaves office, he faces intense investigations into him inflating assets, into him paying porn stars hush payments with campaign funds, and who knows what else will be uncovered. But what we do know is that he will lose the power of the presidency, power that he has used corruptly, albeit, to buoy himself in these legal battles. He's going to lose that buoy. And Donald Trump will sink. So I'm okay. I'm okay with House Democrats saying, look, American people are exhausted. They're exhausted with the pandemic. They're exhausted with the lies. They're exhausted with Donald Trump's behavior, right? Trump's lies, Trump's behavior, Trump's corruption. Like we don't, we don't need this. We don't, we don't, I, I, we don't need to have another battle in the House with Republicans coming up to the floor and lying and lying and lying and trying to defend this deplorable behavior, right? So me personally, I'm okay with it. It's a whole lot easier to swallow knowing that he's leaving in a couple weeks and then once he leaves, his ass is gonna get, he's, he's gonna face some, some, some pretty intense scrutiny. Um, but I'd also love to, like I would love to see him impeached, you know what I mean? And removed from office in like a couple weeks, just like boom, get in, get it done. I'm, I think I'm up there, you know, I'm on the level of, of people who, who, most, who most want to see Donald Trump uh, held accountable, put, put his feet to the fire. But I'm, I'm also completely, uh, I completely understand the idea that America is tired, he's almost done, and then we get to move on and we'll focus on things that bring us together uh, and that help us build our, our country uh, stronger. So, of course, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below because this is going to be a controversial uh, topic here. I think there's a lot of Democrats, uh, a lot of Americans who absolutely want to see him held accountable, but I also think there's a ton of us who are just like exhausted and we just want to move on. And the idea of another fight over Donald Trump's corruption, right, that we already pretty much know the extents of. Right? We know how, how corrupt this guy is, but we just don't want that fight. Right? We're tired. We want to move forward. We're saving our energy to help Joe Biden build back better, y'all. So 
Let me know what your comments are down below. Of course, always interested to hear them. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brendan Plank. I am the founder here at Reflect News. If you like the video, hit that subscribe, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, and you can also click join to become a member if you wanna help out uh, with a couple of bucks a month, help me make videos. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.